moving on to the heavyweight bout, um, I had this one very wrong, and you, you I know, were just like excited as hell because your well, boy came through. And, and the other thing I read is is Dana White was the 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 guy who ref that match. Uh, Dana mm-hmm. White said weighed about ninety seven pounds, and I think that was being courteous. And he was really upset that that guy didn't get in there earlier because Sean Jordan took some unnecessary damage. And as we'll get mm-hmm. to in the JDS fight later about what mm-hmm. that can actually do to you. And in, in in the JDS fight, he said he doesn't remember anything from the second round on. That's fucking scary. And and how that relates is Sean Jordan's on the mat and took maybe five or six extra blows that were just unneeded due to the ref not jumping yeah. in. And yeah, I don't I, blame I don't blame Gonzaga at all. You go till the echo of the whistle. I mean, it's just like every other sport we've ever played. You go till somebody stops you. Oh, absolutely. And you know, you we've seen it. We've seen it happen before where you back off and uh, next thing you know, the tides change and bam, you know. Yeah, ask Brock Lesnar. Yeah, you, you saw you. So you have to finish the fight. Sean Jordan, uh, I mean, he came in and he, he clipped Gonzaga. You know, he came in and the thing is he just wanted to come in and attack Gonzaga. And you know what? That probably wasn't the smartest game plan for him. He should have he should have been a little bit more technical about his fighting and he might have had a better chance. Um, I'd, I'd probably would have ended with Gonzaga. Huh? I'd count if, if I'm if I'm gonna go fight uh, Gonzaga, I'm gonna counter strike him. I want him yeah. to throw a strike and have him open himself up, and me to try to counter. But you know what? With Sean Jordan running into a fight like that, he he will always have he will always be cannon fodder for the heavyweights because oh yeah, as, as good as the top five heavyweights are to me, there's a mm-hmm. sharp drop off. Sharp. Yeah. It really is. Now, with that being said, Gabriel Gonzaga is slowly. I mean, he's his stint right now in the UFC is four and one. So yeah, I mean, he's, he's actually he's he's looking good, man. And I'm I've been the person to doubt him. I know you like him because of the the whole you know street fighter and, and street fighter. Thing, you know what? Let let's find out how street good this guy is. Let him let him fight mm-hmm. JDS. Let him fight. I mean, we don't know if Stefan Struve will ever fight again. He's got a heart condition. Um, wow. Let, yeah. Let 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 him fight somebody in the top five or six. I mean, yeah. top three. I mean, shit. He's got to be the top five. Has he? Or has, be he top five has, has he fought uh, Verdum? I think they did, and I think Verdum beat him. But hey, don't worry, because yeah, somebody just commented and told us that we're fucking idiots and we don't know what we're doing. Yeah, somebody yep. will say it. I just heard 